Welcome back to In Deep Crit. This is Damien playing Civilization VI, picking up from where I left off last session, playing as Nader Shah of the Persian Empire. Uh, we're on, but we're on turn 46. Um, the game's exactly where I left it last time. I've, all I've done is I've changed um, so that we can now see the yields and the relationships up in the top right hand corner um see how everybody's doing uh era score or well, overall score rather military strength as you can see uh pound maker of the Cree has a much higher military strength than me so my plans to invade him soon are going to have to be put on hold until i build up my military strength um i'm leading in tourism and i'm leading in religion at the moment being the only person who is who has founded a religion. So perhaps I could maybe change tack and go for a religious or a cultural victory. Cultural victory is really quite tricky on this setting. It can take quite a long time. Um, a religious victory, if I get all the right pieces in play, could happen a lot sooner. So yeah, we'll see where we go from here. Um, there's options. There's fluidity available. So yeah, let's see what transpires over the next hour or so of play. Governor Moshka is now established in Mashhad. If we look at him. So I've got Amani the Diplomat is in Leventa, establishing in four turns. And then Moshka is providing us extra religious pressure. Extra 100% stronger from this city. Plus two faith for every specialty district in this city. Not that I have any more extra specialty difficulties districts at the moment. Um, he can provide various boosts to religion uh, as we go on through the game. At the moment I've got to choose production in my capital, Mashhad. I've just finished a monument. I've got a bit of cash to spare. Um, I might want some for this builder here to um, buy some land around it. I can just see there's somebody else over here, another empire over here that I can go over and meet soon. Um, production plus 12, food plus 13, two turns to growth, got enough housing for now, plenty of amenities. So, holy site or encampment, I guess, are my next two options. Yeah, I can't purchase the water middle of the granary yet. Um, I've also got the um, Golden Age ability of buying civilian units with faith. Um, I don't need another builder just yet, however. So I'm going to go ahead and build a... I'm going to build an encampment because that will be preferable... If it comes to a war situation, and if I build it somewhere where I can get easy access um, and protect both cities, so I'm actually going to buy this tile here and build it there. And if I can get another encampment somewhere down here from my other city, then I'll have some good defensive capabilities from the Cree if they decide to suddenly launch an attack, which they can certainly do. So I've got this scout down here who's been wandering about and picking up some stuff from tribal villages. So I'm going to send him down further to the south. In this sea, oh, nice. and in the midst of this solitude, rises a great somber street. A street for no human footsteps. None ever pass through there. No ship ever ventures in. So the least fjord. Naval combat units that enter adjacent plots are granted their next promotion. Adjacent plot yield plus one production. That is quite nice. 
So anywhere down here. Um, getting a city down here would be nice, but it's going to be hard to keep control of. Uh, perhaps that's something for the future. If I manage to take more territory. But it's a nice plus three to era score anyway for discovering it. I'm actually going to bring this military... I'm going to head this one over here to try and encounter this civilization here. You can come back all the way to there. Providing me with some defensive strength again against that sudden but inevitable betrayal from the Kree. I'll send you off scouting over to the northwest. Should be able to take the slinger out with my archer. Near enough. And this builder needs something to do. They get extra movement from my Golden Age ability as well. He's got one build left. I think I'm going to go... And... I could get another T, couldn't I? Oh no, I've already got T there and T there. I've already improved both of those. Getting this maze might be a good idea. Bit of gold, bit of extra food. Someone's just built the Hanging Gardens. I'm glad I didn't try starting those in Hagmatana. Because I would have lost that. Would have kept the production, but... Still, it would have wasted a few turns on building something that I wasn't going to get. Where's this settler going? Oh, he's heading to there, look. Yeah, that's a good spot. We've got a plant plantation there. Okay. We'll get that stone instead then. Oh, lots of barbarians. I may be about to lose that scout. Found a tribal village. Those barbarians are more of a bother to the Cree than they are to me at the moment. She looks like I might need to bring this military back up here because there's more barbarians up there than I thought there was. Yeah, that scout's in trouble. No, not too bad. He survived. Run away, run away. Quarry in there. Soften up with the archers. And then finish off with the warrior. I do love the brutality of the animations in the combat. This scout is instead going to head this way to make contact with this civilization. Oh yeah, I've got Uluru there as well. That might be a good place for a next city once I get enough faith to get another settler out that way. Maybe pop a city over here. Sorry about that brief cut there, I was just having to close the window because it's very windy where I am at the moment. It's getting a bit breezy and a bit noisy.
Whoa. Okay, so we're getting political philosophy. So we can now change our government to one of these that are available. We also get some diplomatic policies. Charismatic leader, plus two influence points to, to per turn toward earning city-state envoys. Can be quite useful to get suzerain status of those city-states. And diplomatically, the first envoy you send to each city-state counts as two envoys and can build the Apadana Wonder, which is plus two envoys when you build a wonder, including the Apadana in this city. It must be adjacent to your capital and holds two great works of any type, which can be also be very useful later on. So I know that the Kree are in a classical republic, so if I want to keep friendly with them, choosing the same government as them is certainly going to help towards that. All cities with a district receive plus one housing and plus one amenity, plus 15 great percent great person points. Yeah, and I think I can maybe switch to oligarchy later on if I decide that I am going down the militaristic route. But I think for now, classical republic. Another little boost to the era score. So we've lost our military policy because there are none provided by this government which means I've lost my plus five when fighting barbarians, but I can put that into my wildcard policy. I'm not too bothered about great general points at the moment. I'm going to take plus two influence points because at the moment I'm concentrating on where I am rather than spreading out too far, I think. I don't need the plus 50% production towards settlers because I can buy them with faith. So I can do plus one production in all cities and plus two gold from all trade routes. As I have one trade route at the moment and I've just gained the ability to create another one. Uh, one, of the, one of the bonuses, one of the special abilities of this leader of the Persian Empire is that you get another trade route when you have researched political philosophy. So yes, our policy agenda is set. And what I'll do is I will wait until this settler makes the new city and then get a trader straight away in there to boost food and production and connect all my cities via road. So now it's time to choose the civic and I'm going to go with mysticism this time which allows me to awards an envoy and allows me to build temples and a few other a few other things but well certainly the temples will help my religion um, because I think I'm veering towards going for a religious victory yeah increased trade route capacity classical roads unlocked upgrading all roads in your territory one movement point regardless of terrain Boost to civic, to era score rather, river floods, uh, that's not affecting me at all. Yeah, you're going to keep running away. You are going to keep heading this way. You are going to take out that warrior. And you can just fortify there for now. Hopefully we can take those out in the next couple of turns. And I'm now the suzerain of Leventa. No Very nice. Is wasted. That is spent in the saddle. And I've re finished researching horseback riding. So let's have a look at Leventa. Suzerain me, influenced by one civilization. So the Korea are also vying for influence. So with three envoys, I get plus one faith in the capital in every shrine building, plus two faith in every temple and consulate building. I don't have any shrines or temples yet, 
But as suzerain, my builders can now make the Colossal Head improvement, which provide plus two faith, plus one faith for every two adjacent rainforest, or for every adjacent rainforest once humanism is discovered. Plus one faith for every two adjacent woods, or for every adjacent woods since humanism is discovered. Tourism from faith once flight is discovered cannot be built on snow or snow hills. So yeah, that's that's nice because that boosts both my faith income and potentially my tourism in the future. And choose research. Obviously, I'm going to go for ironworking to get the immortal, which will give me um, a boost to my military, but also give me some era score for making my unique unit. We've just completed a granary in there, so we've got five housing out of seven needed, so that's all right for housing for now. Zero amenities, which means it has enough amenities, but doesn't have any bonus amenities at the moment. Um, spices need developing. But I am going to go ahead and build that encampment here, I think. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spend the extra gold, I'm gonna build it just here. Which will give it a bit of extra defense because it's on a hill. Horseman is gonna cost me 210 gold. So I can't afford him just yet, but maybe in a couple of turns I could buy a horseman. Um, I've got enough faith to build to buy a trader, but I don't want to buy that just yet. Well, that's now saying somewhere else. To build the city. Oh no, it's, it's, it's arrived at the place it was going to be building the city, so... I'm going to found a city there, remove the woods. Plus one era score for being right next to a volcano. But that's okay. That's fine. As it says, all mountains smoke a little bit, right? And we're going to go straight in and... I'm actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy that trader with faith. And buy that builder with gold. To boost the city's production capabilities pretty quickly. Um, and we'll start with a monument to get the extra culture from that. you back across the river who have we met bom dia é uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem we have met Pedro the second of Brazil We'd love to sample your hospitality, Pedro. Very kind of you. And Rio is his capital right there. Uh, let's see how he's doing. He's ahead of us in overall score and military and science. <laughs> he's got a lot of faith. But has he formed a religion yet? Oh, the Kree have just founded Confucianism. sending a settler out as well. Uh. I like 
like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some. So I'm going to send Pedro a delegation. Hmm. I believe I've got one with the crew as well, yeah. Anything we can trade. Let's see if we can trade open borders. Yes, indeed. That's theology for the temple, that's right. So yeah, we go drama and poetry and theology next. We've got theatre square and temples. Another envoy. Extra production for units. I'm actually going to pop that into Leventa to keep, hopefully keep my position there. Get the spices straight away from there. And you can start a trade route. So it's exactly the same to go to Hag, um, Hag Matana. But half the amount of time to complete the route. So let's build that road there. And that will have all three of my cities connected by road at least. Which means I can move quickly between them. That warrior has disappeared off somewhere. Let's chase him up to there. Cameron has boosted military training. It actually awards an envoy and gives us all sorts of military policies. Now I'm going to stick with what I've got at the moment because they're also both boosted. Finish the encampment. So now I'm going to build some ancient walls. I think. No, let's go holy site. Let's go with a holy site. Don't really want to spend too much gold on purchasing land at the moment. Let's build it here. You rest up there, get your health back. I'm going to build that colossal head there, which will give me plus three faith per turn. That's faith balance, but it's not saying what the faith per turn is. Oh, 
Oh no, he's just found the city right there, so I could still get one near Uluru. Potentially might be a problem to keep it loyal though. You can carry on down to Sousa. Yes, I will receive your delegation. Thank you kindly, Pedro. I've met Kegrana. Oh, just there, look. And send them an envoy. Pedro is suzerain of them. Bit of extra culture. Let's send us send an envoy there. That colossal head is really quite cool. I'll send you up there. With some extra spices. Yeah, I'll take three gold a turn for 30 turns. Total of 90 gold overall for those spices. I don't know if there's another encampment up here. of iron then he turns up the heat to forge some of it the poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese um, what are we gonna go for next I'm in sailing. I don't have a city on the coast yet, but I'm probably going to need sailing fairly soon. Let's take currency for now. Just lost suzerain status of Venice. Never mind. Ah, there is another encampment. There it is. So I can upgrade him to the immortal now, which will cost me six iron and eighty-five gold. I think that's pretty good. Human Persia could create the immortal and who could possibly resist it. And there he is, where they are. So I've got plus four era score from that and plus one for um, using iron. Unlocking the potential of a strategic resource. And if we look at the immortal unit. Persian unique melee unit that replaces the swordsman melee class unit with a ranged attack. Range of two, strong defensive strength. Still behind in the military race though, look. Yeah, scout was doomed.
Oh, swordsman. This could be tricky up here now. And they've just unleashed a swordsman on me. Do I send the immortal back up there? How many turns are going to take him? A lot. Probably too many to be of any use. Yeah, I thought you'd go for my archer. That's just mean. Start sending them up. We can no more have exact religious thinking without theology than exact mensuration and astronomy without mathematics. So my gold is okay. I'm actually going to go for the plus 100% holy site adjacency bonuses to boost that faith a bit more. And now we're going to head for military training. Still okay for housing and amenities. So we're going to build a shrine next. Send an envoy. Yeah, I'm going to show up my suzerain of Laventa. does not bring you happiness will at least help you be miserable in comfort currency gives me a chance to build the commercial hub in the market which increases trade route capacity obviously brings in more money Yeah, let's go for construction for the for the lumber mill and the terracotta armory as a possibility of getting that could be boosted by building a water mill. Two hundred and ten, which I could build next turn if I so felt like it. Or I could... What units can I buy? I could buy a horseman or a heavy chariot. Sorry, not a horseman. A heavy chariot for 170. Horseman is much better. I 
might have been better off dropping that archer back one before firing. I may be about to lose that archer. Production is going to be finishing all three cities on the same turn. I oh know he backed off. He backed off. Right, water mill four turns, so that will boost construction. Hopefully, finish that very soon after. Yeah, I'm going to grab another holy site while I'm here. I'm getting plus one yields from holy sites. Completed the monument, three out of five housing plus two amenities. Oh, I've got plus three. I mean, that seems. Obviously, it's right next to a volcano, so it can be pillaged by eruptions, but that's okay. Plus three faith from it is nice. And I'm going to buy a settler as well. Exploring on your own recognizance. So needs more housing. I think we're going very quickly. What are you saying then? Come back for some more. Okay. I mean, it's not a recommendation of a place to build one, but extra culture and faith for all those tiles. Five turns to go over to there, and shouldn't be have a problem with loyalty just in that spot there, and we've got fresh water as well from the oasis. Fresh water affects the amount of housing that is available for a starting city. People who cannot find time for recreation are sooner or later to find time for illness.
Let's run the risk and fortify you there. And do the same with you there. Right, I can buy that horseman now, I think. Plus one here a score for the horseman. Uh, we haven't got long left, it'll be six turns. But hopefully we will avoid a dark age. Yeah, we're getting hemmed in for space here. I'm just going to have to give soon. Our military strength is nearly, nearly approaching the same as Pedro's. Uh, the Cree are way ahead. Yep, that construction boost from the water mill is lovely. It's only two more turns now. And we are going to build a temple. Start getting those apostles out. Put you on alert there for now, I think. That's a galley, that's okay, it's got no ranged attack. Um, yeah, he's on alert there. Actually, gonna get another builder here because we've got some resources here to exploit some more tea. Which will give me more to trade, but also some amber, which is I don't believe I have any yet. Oh no, I do have one. There we go. But I'll also give me some to trade as I'm the only one with a vat. I believe Cree's got that in trade from me. Completing a trade route, lovely. So that trade is now available for a new trade route. Noventa wants one. It's going to take four turns to complete as well. It's been an extra envoy there, which means I'm now on plus three faith in every worship and chance rebuilding. Nice, so that is again another big boost to my faith. Looks like religious victory is what we're going to be going for. You don't have any tea, do you? What would you give me for my tea? That's a good deal, I'll take that. Swordsman. Create with the heart, build with the mind. If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training to learn how? Statue of Zeus is a really good way to suddenly boost your army. Um, need an encampment building. So I need a barracks, an encampment with a barracks, and flat land next to it. I 
actually really tempted to change that to barracks and go for a statue of Zeus immediately afterwards. For divine right next. Which will fill in these ones defensive tactics, recorded history, go to civil service, and then divine right for the monarchy, which is the first tier three government that you can get. More envoys to send. Let's start going after Venice again then. So I lost that. Oh, there we go. Korea no longer suzerain, so a plus two error score for that. Which means I have avoided the Dark Age. But sometimes Dark Ages could be useful. An early game Dark Age isn't necessarily terrible because you get some quite powerful policies from Dark Ages. But then if you achieve a Golden Age, the next era, you actually get a Heroic Age, which gives you the ability to choose three golden age abilities golden age boosts and um yeah it's just a vast improvement all right let's risk this So you're going to go for that lumber mill next, I think, rather than the amber mine. Although I will get a boost from having built my third mine. Yeah. Lumber mill first, I think, for production. Let's found this city. Another three era score. So three ever score from Uluru, one from being so close to Brazil, and another one for being in the desert. Not bad at all. We have to get a monument there straight away, I think, because of its yeah, lack of loyalty. It's only falling ever so slightly. I'm going to buy a builder with faith, and then next turn we move them over here and get that pasture for the horses going. So here's a decision to make. Something too close should consider seeking land elsewhere. So I could gain 30 diplomatic favour by saying, apologies, I will look elsewhere in the future. Um, and if I fulfil that, I'll gain 30 diplomatic favour for using in the World Congress, the kind of United Nations thing later on. I can give them 25 grievances by just saying my people will settle where they please, which I think is what I'm going to do, because I'm okay with annoying him a little bit. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me. Uh, sailing done anyway. Boost three mines as apprenticeship. Shipbuilding allows everybody to embark. It means I can explore more of the world. Now I'm going for apprenticeship to get the man of art, man at arms. Tarsus does not provide enough food does now but it does affect the production 
So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's only one turn till border growth. I'm not gonna waste a load of gold on that when I can just wait a turn. That warrior is going to survive this. I do not know. It's only boosted his military strength. Those grievances haven't done too much, they're already reducing. Look. He likes that I'm not getting lots of great people. <laughs> of mass production has been boosted. Imagine todas as conquistas surpreendentes <laughs> que as mentes brilhantes da minha nação realizarão. Pedro is throwing shade. I mean, they won't once I come in and kill them all. Ah, oh, you're joking, a skirmisher as well. I'm going to take Suzerain ship of Venice back this turn. I said my worry I wasn't going to survive, didn't I? So Venice has just given me a trade route to foreign cities and plus one gold for each luxury resource at the destination. So if I go... For this Cree city, that gives me plus five gold. In the medieval era, no golden age this time, but we do get a normal age dedication. So Pedro's in a golden age. Oh, Creo in a dark age. Right, I'm going to go for Exodus of the Evangelists because my intent now is to start pushing out religious units as soon as possible. Uh, which is not yet. Tarsus is losing loyalty. 22 turns rebellion. Well, that's not good. I don't have many governors to send. My next governor I will send over to Tarsus. I'll also convert it to my religion as soon as possible. We're going to go for a campus here. Mm. 
Range strength 25 as opposed to the archers. Oh, same range strength. Melee strength 35. Let's move you to there then. You can take the shot. The colossal head over here. And here's the World Congress what I was just talking about. So, every I think it's every 25 turns, there was a World Congress, which you can vote on various policies. Um, and here is your diplomatic favour, which you gain from various sources. Um, I'm not even in the lead diplomatically. So, plus 100% of the city-state yield type when sending trade routes to a city state of this type or vote that they do not provide their unique suzerain bonus I am going to go and agree with that and vote straight for religious your first vote is always free um, I'm not sure I'm going to win that anyway And see if I can get myself to get a few grievances. If you lose a vote, then you get all of your favour back. Um, there we go, so I might as well. Might as well try. Every vote you win, you get one diplomatic victory point. <laughs> no, they voted against me on that one. Oh, but I won that one. Let's call for a special session of the World Congress, which will happen next turn. We get a diplomatic victory point. We converted a city, so Hagmatana has converted to my religion, which has gained me one era score. I can purchase a missionary. So if we look at the world rankings now, it says Brazil is leading, but. There's a few of us that have got one point. Four of us have got one point. Overall, I'm still leading in a religious victory. We've got five cities, apparently. Oh, yeah, look. They're following my religion as well. Nice. Or, yeah, I'm way down at the moment. We need to get that sorted. Choose production. Just finished barracks. Statue of Zeus. Can be built right there. Or... I can't purchase that tile. Hang on. No, I can't swap that over. Ah, irritating. I'm gonna have to build it there and move the woods. And hope that in 14 turns, so I could build the Peridiatha there as well, which is extra gold and culture, and will give me some era score for building it for the first time. Oh, that's quite a cute improvement.
Nice. There's our third amp, our third mine, which boosts apprenticeship. So now in four turns, we'll be able to go for the man at arms. Oh, I didn't buy my missionary, did I? Okay, so I could get some diplomatic victory points by agreeing to the aid request. And three euro score for the uh, splendid history. Is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. So I can gain score by sending gifts of gold to the target, completing the send aid project. Being at war will reduce the score. Generating CO2 will reduce your score. I'm not generating any CO2 yet. I don't think anybody is yet. It's myself and Pedro. So first thing I'm going to do here is send aid. And I've got a governor title as well, which I said would go to Tarsus. One for loyalty in one turn. He's now following the religion. But... I'm going to appoint Victor the Castellan because I probably want him in play anyway if things get fruity if, when now we'll have a colossal head and we will have a missionary Chance to change policies, haven't I? I'm going to go 15% production towards ancient and classical wonders. Instead of the combat strength when fighting barbarians, let's take the risk. That's already knocked three turns off building of the statue of Zeus. Look, lovely. Hopefully, with this immortal, we can take out this encampment now. Get all my cities converted. Nice. School for clearing it. Not too bad. I'm 
There we go, boosted our reformed church as well. Aid request. You know what, I'm also going to send him some gold. Not 100 though. Try 50. Of course you see the wisdom in that. Way to train an apprentice. Plus one production My from mines. Our example. Arms, industrial and zones. Nagging. So the man at arms. Well, unfortunately, if I upgrade an immortal, we'll get rid of the ranged attack. But that's quickly outstripped at this level of game, anyway. It's a much stronger. Melee attack, I think. Yeah, an extra 10 melee attack. I can't afford to buy one straight out. They're 425, they're quite expensive. I think we're all good. City status report. Slowed in Hagmatana Lane and won't need more houses. They've only got eight out of nine. Normal accelerated in Mashad. Happy, content, enough amenities for now. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Haven't boosted anything next, have I? Gotta be engineering next though for a catapult. If I'm gonna think about taking some of these cities away. Let's get Levanta converted. Maybe I've got a shrine yet. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. Give myself another governor title, so this time I'm going to give myself the librarian and put that in Hagmatana, who's building a campus. Give me some extra science and culture from there. Didn't even need to do anything to them. Okay, so I think my next set of objectives let's hopefully get this statue of Zeus complete and once I do that might be time to take on Brazil uh, river flooding that's not too bad it's not done any damage and it's fertilized some tiles I don't get a builder out there to take advantage of that. When I can't, can't purchase builders with faith anymore. 
That was last era. Let's see if we get Statue of Zeus before the end of this session. Six turns to go. Oh, Brazil's just found the religion of Catholicism. Well, I definitely need to deal with their religion then, don't I? There, that's going to be useful in the future. Oh. So, yeah, I'll get through there. People need more housing. I'm actually going to buy a builder here. In mathematics. Just completed the campus. Okay, I'm gonna build a shrine there now. Try and convert Kabul. Due to the man at arms, I'm going to go after your other city rather than Rio for now, I think. Open borders from you as well. No, I'm not willing to trade that. Seems right. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Catapult available. Boosted mathematics, which means we can build Petra, which is wonderful for that Tarsus city, the desert city.
Two turns, the Statue of Zeus. It's getting exciting. Yeah, his military has dropped by some point because of the troubles with barbarians he's having. Well, just increased again. Excuse me. And turn over his suzerain status of a couple of city states. A plus one for rebuilding after an actual disaster. Go to the city for the first time. Upon the head of the god yes. was an olive crown. In his right hand he bore a winged figure of victory. Three archers, three spearmen and a battering ram. It's a great animation as well. Plus 50% production towards anti-cavalry units. Plus we've got a flight down to an encampment with a, a, a barracks. And that's boosted my knowledge of machinery as well. And because I've got a nice big army, giving me loads of boosts. So there we have it. We have finished the Statue of Zeus. We have doubled our number of cities in this little go. Um, we now have a reasonable standing army. Probably enough to start trying to take some cities away from Brazil. Maybe not be able to take them, like take them out as an empire, but certainly cut them back a little bit and gain some territory, which will be my next objective. So, this is Damien from In Deep Crit playing Civilization 6 and signing off for now until next time. See you later.